Hello guys, it's TMK Crates, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make rivers, lakes, and oceans in UEFN. So let's go. I'm just going to open the tutorial map that we've been working on. Now when you're in your map, you obviously want to have a uh, terrain, but if you don't have it, then... But I'm going to delete mine just so I can show you how to make one. So I just removed my terrain, and I'm also going to remove this grid right here, because the water will go through it. So you want to go to, instead of selection mode, you want to go to landscape, and then just press create. And now that you've got a landscape, you want to go to all, Fortnite, environment, water, and it's as simple as drag and drop in. Now, it'll start preparing the shaders so the water will actually bend up. So you can just click on it, move it down, and the terrain will follow it as well. And if you obviously want to edit the shapes, you can click on that and move it on the splines. If you want to add more points, you can right click and press duplicate spline points. And then just move it like that. So that's lakes, pretty easy. And I'm going to be showing you how to make this look better at the end of the tutorial too. Now add in a river, you just drag and drop the river. And same thing as before, you right click, duplicate spline points. And you can move it just like that. And if you wanted to, you can move it down. Or down like that. Or even up. It's up to you. But I'm just going to keep it in the ground. There's also this one called swimming pool, but it doesn't affect the terrain or anything, so I think it's just for POI type swimming pools. And then you can drag in the ocean one, and it will obviously add an ocean, but this doesn't fill my entire island, so I'm going to select the points and just move them so they're a bit bigger. And remember, you can duplicate the spline points by right clicking them, so that's what I'm going to do. And now that I've placed it all how I want to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to landscape mode, press paint, and you'll should come with these layers if you select the paint tab. So what I like to do is add some mud in the middle of it, I'm just going to increase my brush size. And you will barely be able to see it, but you can kind of see it, so... And once you've done that, then select the, what's it called? I think it's, oh no, I'm just going to call it the dirt layer, it's called layer 1 for me. And then this will be automatically behind the mud. So I just like to paint it a bit on the outside like this. And let's say you've painted too much and you want to remove it. You can just hold shift and click and then it will just get rid of it. But you have to make sure you're on the same layer as the one you want to remove. And yeah, that's pretty decent looking leak. If we added some trees around it, it would look even better. And I'm just going to do the same for the river now. And yeah, here's the finished river and lake. I think it looks quite good, but obviously you can customise it to your liking. We'll go see how this looks in game. And if you guys also don't know how to launch the game in the editor, just press launch session. 